Okay, hey guys. Okay, I built a Lego launcher Beyblade holder launcher grip thing. Okay, hold on for a second. We just ready for position. Okay, this is it. It's holding the launcher there. This is the clip that hooks onto your belt. Um, this is the spot where it holds the Beyblade. I'll show you that later in the video. Now, turn it into a launcher grip. You want to clip the rubber hand. And you flip this. And see? You hold it like a launcher grip. Now, sometimes these pieces may come out, so it's better you just hold it like this. Now I need to the rip coat. Hold on. Oh. Hey. Okay. Insert the rip cord. And see? Let me go get a baby later. My Storm Pegasus 105 RF. Pretty darn torn up, see? But hook it there in the stadium and watch. Three, two, one, let it. That is funny. The video is going slower than the B Blade itself. <laughs> yes, that's how it works. Um, okay, put that for now. Okay, now to put the wave blade in, what you do is you put that piece here and you clip this. Is that it? No, just, yes, this is it. And then you hook it like that and you just hook these back on. And see, you just have it on your belt and you have your launcher right there and the thing right here. To hold the ripcord, you just, it's just, like you can just put in the launcher or like find a place to slit it slip it through. Um, let me see what else is on here, cause this is like my Mark III, because I rebuilt this like three different times. These are to hold it in place because sometimes when you launch it it'll turn to this side. So these are just to hold it in place to make sure it doesn't move. These pieces here are to keep it in that spot. Now, it is possible to take it out. Let me show you how. It's pretty complicated. That's why I never take it out. I just leave it in there. It has rubber bands to stabilize it to make sure it doesn't come out. But if you ever do want to take it out, you just pull it forward and take it out. See? Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.